The D-Audio has successfully test-fired the Praline New Generation short-range surface-to-surface guided ballistic missile from a mobile launcher. The solid-fuel battlefield missile has a range of 500 km and can carry a payload of 1000 kg, and its guidance system includes state-of-the-art navigation system and integrated avionics. The new missile followed the desired quasi-ballistic trajectory, and reached the designated target with high degree of accuracy, and validated the control guidance and mission algorithms. The Defence Ministry has collected a fine of less than 1 million euros from the European missile manufacturer MBDA, for the delay in fulfilling its offset obligations under the 36 Rafale deal. MBDA has deposited its penalty, but has also lodged its protest with the Defence Ministry. Dassault Aviation and MBDA had proposed in 2015, to discharge 30% of their offset obligations by offering high-end technology to the DRDO, but the two firms are yet to fulfil the obligations. The Indian Navy has now decided to not go for the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear from the US firm General Atomics. The estimated cost of electromagnetic aircraft launch system with two launcher configuration and one advanced arresting gear is around $1.3 billion. General Atomics has also developed a smaller and much more energy-efficient electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear for 65,000-ton aircraft carriers, but it has not been tried or tested on any carrier. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has launched the MAG multi-terrain artillery gun built by Bharat Forge in presence of the Indian Army Chief. The MAG 155mm 39 caliber gun system is mounted on an 18-ton 4x4 high-mobility vehicle, that has the capability to be deployed in high mountainous regions. Bharat Forge has said, that the MAG is equipped with shoot and scoot capability, that provides advanced technical performance and high integration. The Indian Army's Corps of Engineers has inducted the first set of indigenously developed next-generation armoured engineer reconnaissance vehicle. The next-generation vehicle will enhance existing engineer reconnaissance capabilities of the Army, and will provide a real-time update to force commanders, that would be a major game-changer in support of mechanised operations. Researchers at Indian Institute of Technology Madras have created a class of fast and efficient motion planning algorithms that can think like humans, and will allow autonomous aerial ground or surface vehicles to handle obstacle-filled settings. The Indian Army will soon get 7 lakh indigenously designed and developed Nippon anti-personnel and anti-tank mines. The mine has been developed by an Indian firm in partnership with the DRDO. Two next-generation anti-tank mines are also at an advanced stage of use at trials by the Indian Army, that have greater stopping power and advanced sensors, and will take care of the incoming enemy tank regiments. After India's announcement of deployment of S-400 missile system in the Punjab sector, Pakistan has tested an enhanced range Baba 1B cruise missile, that has a range of more than 900 km, which is twice the range of the previous variant. The Ordnance Clothing Factory of Adi is working on lighter uniforms for soldiers, as well as going in for digital printing and antibacterial camouflaged uniform for Indian troops. Ordnance Clothing Factory of Adi is also planning to go in for exports with a target of 10 crore rupees, and the main focus will be on the Middle East and Southeast Asian countries, 